Alright, so, you know, the USFL finally has released their schedule, which means I can finally get another USFL video out. We'll sprinkle in some XFL in too, but, you know. Semifinals on June 25th, championship on July 3rd. Both those games will be played in Canton, Ohio, due to the World Games going out in Birmingham during those couple weeks. Um, so that's interesting. Um, most teams are starting to announce their personnel and stuff like that. You know, guys like Noel Mazzoni going to New Orleans, which is pretty interesting. Uh, uniforms are out. Most of them look pretty good. The draft order, you know, it was a 35-round draft on February 22nd and 23rd. The schedule for week one is out. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, there's a supplemental draft and a combine. I do not know when the supplemental draft is actually happening, but I do know that the combine is slated to be on March 19th and 20th. And then another big thing is that the real USFL LLC is suing Fox, the new USFL, for apparently infringing on these old trademarks, which I don't know how that's going to go, considering, you know, the USFL had the opportunity in the past and, you know, to say something about this, but they just wanted to try and take the thunder out. But, you know, the schedule has been announced in full, so that's why, you know, I wanted to get this out. Uh, only week one's times have been announced, and we only know the network for the first game of the season. We don't know what the network for the other three games on April 17th will be. It's a triple header on April 17th. Houston, Michigan in the 11 a.m. game, 12 Eastern. Philadelphia, New Orleans in the 4 p.m. game, 3 p.m. Central, and then the 7, 8, um, or rather the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock game, which is uh, Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh. So we know that. We know the times for those games. For some reason, the USFL didn't give times for the other games on their schedule for some reason, which is stupid to me, but... Uh, uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge, because I mean it just is what it is, you know. So, you know, that, that's interesting. There, you know, the whole schedule for the USFL's out, and it's gonna be an interesting season. Hopefully, they put out the times for the rest of the games real soon, because I'm tired of waiting. I'm I need to get my schedules ready. I'm a very I, I, I think I've told y'all this in the past, how I have a whole watch schedule of stuff that I want to watch, and, you know, that kind of gets ruined when you don't know when these games are going to be. So we don't know when the other nine weeks of games are going to be just yet. I assume most of them will be on, like a doubleheader Saturday and Sunday, sprinkle in some Friday, sprinkle in some Monday-type games, maybe sprinkle in a Thursday here and there, or something like that. But other than that, I don't know yet. But there's a couple things for the XFL that I think I forgot to talk about is that there's some rule changes that they're going to partner with the NFL to test other things as well to protect the players. And we know that at least three teams will be back in 2023. New York Guardians, the Seattle Dragons, and of course the St. Louis Battlehawks. They'll be back in 2023 in the XFL. I'm excited for that because uh, I think the XFL really has what it takes, you know, to... They, they have what it takes because of a market like St. Louis, you know. Now, now, if these leagues can branch out to some other markets, that'd be great. But it'd be, you know, a place, you know, without NFL teams, you know, that'd be great. It'd be much better. But, I mean, what we have right now is fine with me. What we have right now, and because of the USFL, you know, some teams have to get scrapped. So, you know, like, I, I think the Renegades got scrapped, you know, the Houston Renegades, anyway. Uh, or was it the Dallas Renegades? I can't remember which the team names is by now because, I mean, it's, since, it's been so long since we talked about the XFL teams in a capacity of, you know, hey, this is my team and whatnot. But, again, I'm excited for the USFL. Um, tune in. Uh, we'll be discussing the USFL once again in April. So, by the time the USFL comes around, I'll be talking with y'all again, you know, and that'll be like uh, like the Thursday before, so I'm going to try and see, you know, what the plan will be, 
for the USFL, how I'm going to do these videos for the USFL, and, you know, get it out to you when we get to our channel update for April, so that'll be in like 20 days or so when we do our channel update and see how the USFL will fit into everything, so with all that being said, I'm going to get all out of here, and I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's Monday, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, I'll see you all uh, Saturday night on Ultimate Sports Networks and Sunday over here to talk about, you know, the uh, Selection Sunday. Yeah. Have a good week.